five must do's before you market your home. In this video, I outline five ways to streamline the home selling process. Selling a home can be stressful, but by following a few easy rules at the start of the process, vendors can save themselves time, money and heartache. A little bit of prep will help you avoid the two most common home selling horror themes. Scenario one, the process is painfully slow and drags on for months or sometimes years, leaving the vendors living in limbo and tearing their hair out, if you have got hair that is, because they can't seal a deal. Scenario two, the vendor falls in love with other property but can't shift their own quickly enough to keep the chain moving. As a result, they lose their dream home and blow thousands of pounds in surveys and legal fees along the way. Here is a five step plan to help you prepare for putting your home on the market. Number one, manage your expectations. It's human nature to place a high volume on something to which we have a strong emotional attachment, but you need to step into the shoes of a potential buyer. They will view several properties in the area as part of their search. How will yours stack up? Be realistic with your asking price. Overvaluing a home is a surefire recipe for a drawn out sale. We have detailed market data and can provide expert advice. Number two, research agents and don't be led by price. You get what you pay for. Someone who promises you the earth for next to nothing is most likely stinging you along. If they suggest a ridiculous over the top asking price, ask yourself why? Do they possess magical selling powers? The answer is no. Or do they want to lure you in with a big promise, tie you into a long contract and then drop the asking price like a hot <laughs> Number three, phone a friend. Ask a straight talking buddy for a brutally honest appraisal of your home. Don't be offended if you don't like what you hear. If they tell you the front room stinks of cat, it probably does. So do something about it. If they confess that the life-size portrait of grandma on the wall creeps them out, take it down. Or is that just my house? Dress your home to appeal to a range of buyers, not your personal taste. Number four, declutter. Following on from the previous point, review the furniture and decor in each room and decide what needs to go. If you want to keep it, put it into storage. Remove personal photos and objects and bulky furniture which make a room look smaller. And number five, general repairs and maintenance. Sort out minor DIY issues such as broken door handles or mold in the bathrooms and get tired rooms a fresh lick of paint. Trim shrubs and smarten up the garden. Don't bother with costly renovations that won't add value. And here's a bonus tip. Many people search for their next home before they put their own on the market and wind up facing scenario two, as discussed above. When you find your dream home, you need to move immediately and know exactly how much you can offer. We recommend you put your home on the market first so you're pumped and primed ready to make your next move. If you're thinking about selling your home, talk to us at Oliver James. We can help make your next move happen. Thanks for watching, keep well, and I'll see you soon.